you guys welcome or welcome back my lovelies um to another pick a card so we have four piles here obviously uh today's reading is actually going to be about your march end of march uh reading right we have like a week or two in but it's just like your current energy is like what you need to know um I don't really know I was just called to do it so <laughs> I'm gonna go with it but just wanted to thank each and every one of you for our ever-growing family all right um thank you so yeah don't forget to check out my tiktok you guys all right there's a lot of there's a lot more readings on there even though they're like really small sorry I'm just like adjusting everything I did get a new set of cards I don't know if you guys are noticing that but uh yeah so uh, let's get into it so yeah what what do you need to know for like the end of march is when i'm getting just like an update right i could be love it could be finances it could be self-care it could be just maybe you just are curious right and going for it so yeah when you're ready choose whichever number you're called to and where you can go ahead and go down from there see you in a bit Okay, my lovely pile one, if you went, of course, if you chose this card, we're going to go ahead and lay this out here. So I don't know what it is. I just want to see what the energy is for like closing in March. Let's get the energy. Oof. So divine guidance and protection. Oh, and health. Okay, so let's see. I do see here where... <laughs> 38 and 40 could be some type of ascension like going up or you're just like learning is what I'm getting also whispers from the beings who shine let their let there be clear and kind so there's that one and then uh we have psychic protection around me now a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold so I'm going to go ahead and put these out here just for like the energies of the reading. Yeah, I really like it. Sorry, I'm just like moving everything. I'm going to put this over here to the side. And it's a lot of threes. I'm seeing a lot like the numbers, the number three is what I'm seeing. So um, what is in store for the end of March for my lovely pile number one? What is in store um, if you want to know where I got these from, I do have the link in actually my TikTok if you want to check that out. So if you want to know where these cards are at, where I got them from, the link is in my TikTok again. It's in my description description box, All right, What is, so this is my first time actually use, using these. These are so pretty. I know, I just like, I just felt, I felt to like use them in the reading as soon as I, as soon as possible, as soon as I like, did the unboxing I was like uh, I have to use these <laughs> so what, what do we what do you have in store for the end of March for my lovely pile number one okay so we have this one oh that's a lot of spirit let me go ahead and shuffle these some more I actually want to see what this is okay so oh my god this is so pretty okay so 42 community great look 38 40 and then 42 okay i kid you not all right so three um openness look for the common humanity invoke lemurian light so some of you could be actually um starting to look for your soul tribe is what i'm getting your soul tribe you know or like coming into contact with like familiar faces or you could be like you know furthering your invest advancement um yeah is what i'm saying let's get what is expected in march i i i still don't know like at the end of march how cute all right so let's see at the bottom of the deck we have 17 go with the flow relax and trust accept what is happening so it's pretty much it's just like um don't fight the energies is what i'm getting like resistant creates um a type of re like uh, just what is that resistance resistant cre creates 
so, oh, I don't know, it'll come to me. But anyway, so I have 31, 11, and 35. I'm telling you, three, three, threes. If you've been seeing synchronicities with threes, like let me know because like all I see is threes. I've been seeing threes lately too. So Cosmic Emerald, we have Create Perfect Health. And let me tell you, so health is here and it is also here as well. So health, that's a double confirmation, by the way. Um, so we have access divine abundance. So it's like uh, you might be co-creating, right? You could have been co-creating in the month of March as well is what I'm getting. Divine potential, fulfill your destiny, be all you can be. So I have been seeing a lot of like, this is your destiny. This is like, this is what you're meant to be. A lot of alignment is what I'm getting. It's like, you're on the right path. Like, don't like go forth, you know? And then look at that 33. Oh my God. It's just threes. Are you sure you guys didn't pick pile number three? Because I think you guys should. <laughs> if you guys were called to do so. Look for the signs. Pay attention. Expect an answer. So it could be like there was a chapter closing out. A cycle closing out is also what I'm getting. And then I, I do see like Emerald. It's like very... What is it called? It's like you're in this cocoon of, of an embodiment that is just like... Oh my god. I just... I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but let's get some more Oracle cards out here. Actually, I am going to not take these. I'm going to get some tarot just for what we have. And it's really short, you guys. I just like want to see what the advice is. Okay. Yeah. Just want to see what the advice is. What is the advice? for my pile number one for the end of March. What advice do we have for my pile number one for the end of March, please spirit? End of March advice. What is the advice? Ooh, think sharply, okay? So we do have, mm -hmm, we do have out here the seven of swords right seven does represent the intellectual aspect right making a plan seven also does represent mm, reflection right and a type of discovery and it could be like sneakiness but it's just like keep it to yourself is what i'm getting keep it to yourself also yeah what advice Ooh, i just felt like super lightheaded and i think it's I want to say it's my incense, but like dead ass, I don't think it is. <laughs> All right. What advice do we have for my pal number one for the end of a March, please? Ooh. So divine guidance and the queen of cups in reverse is what I'm getting. And it fell on divine guidance. Okay. I also do see here the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. All right. So. insecurity i'm not sure what it is it's like um so the queen of cups upright of course it represents a type of nurturing of an idea right especially for the cups this is nurturing or listening to your gut right paying more attention to your intuition so it's kind of in this case it can go either way right either you want to think from a logical aspect okay or you want to go into like listening to your gut and I feel like it's it's more of the mind right is what I'm getting I think I want to clarify so let's see that at the end of the bottom of the decks so yeah something hidden is what I'm getting yeah, something hidden. Hmm. Clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. Please, Spirit, clarify the Queen of Cups. What wanted to come out? The King of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Please, Spirit, clarify the Queen of Cups here for me. A hermit. Yeah, you're going within, obviously. And it's like thinking. Sh <sighs> clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. Please, Spirit, for my pile number one. All right. So this is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength, Leo Energy, okay? Here at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands is what I'm seeing. Wow, okay, so that's coming into like more, it's helping me out more to see what I needed 
to give you because the queen of cups it was kind of giving me like you're not listening to your intuition or it's like either your logical aspect but work on that work on what you may feel or what you think logically it's kind of like you want to balance that out i'm surprised i didn't i feel it's like going with the flow if you need to for here was when i'm getting like towards the end of march it's like if you are going with the flow um or you know don't resist like don't resist against the current is what i'm getting yeah just have that courage to actually like you know st like to, to just stop like <laughs> i know it right it's like uh yeah so it's just like what i'm seeing here pile number one is just like have the courage to just go with the flow keep in a sharp mind right leave like leave what is supposed to be left behind because we see a seven and a six i see here and with the three of wands the wands here it does represent sorry it does represent like a uh, spirituality taking action right three of wands it's like something in that you're taking initial action a type of achievement that you're going for and then the two of wands is out here look followed by the king of wands okay so this is very um you want to follow your intuition more towards the end of the month all right whatever it may be follow your gut instinct is what i'm getting yeah very heavy like in like the pit of my stomach is what i'm getting but yeah pile number one this has been uh your reading just basically what for the end of march right the end of the month it's just random i don't know why i was called to do so but you know this happens <laughs> all right if you made it this far don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next reading bye okay pile number two if you have chosen this beautiful beautiful blue rose i drew it myself <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so this is your end of the month reading basically right um right now i pretty much want to get some water <laughs> Oh, I love the cold water going down my esophagus. All right, so let's go ahead and get your energies. Okay, thank you, spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have dream, dream, sweep, sleep, deep. 45 could mean of great significance. Sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. So what I'm getting here, pile number two, is... Ooh, I'm getting that again. Oh my god, I keep on getting, like, a movement. Like, almost like vertigo, but I feel like it's like I'm going upwards. Oh my god, there's, like, a little mosquito there. Sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... I'm also getting like writing down your your dreams, right? Right. When as soon as you wake up, whether they're like nightmares or whatever, it could be something hidden, right? And look at the patterns that are going on. I do see here uh, 32 and 37, which could mean of great significance, right? So the energy right now is that your your confidence. There's an opportunity to pick up on your confidence, right? But there's fertility. Like I said, you're creating something. Your dreams are trying to tell you something. Pile number two. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. So with confidence here, I do see by earth and air, water and fire. This is like, this is giving like magician energy, right? You have all the tools and elements needed in order for you to make that manifestation and set your intentions to the highest. Um, let my confidence take light, burn higher. So we have that one here. And then we have fertility, right? Let all take root, seed and sprout, new, let life be all about so it's like there's something that is being uh certain that you are going to be creating right you're co-creating there's certain downloads that you're getting like like i said i just picked up where you want to um you want to essentially write down your dreams whether they're like good or bad okay so let's get some oracles out here some unicorn oracles out here for you my pile number two unicorn oracles out here for my pile number two what messages do we have out here for the end of the month for my pile number two i know that in the other like reading i said it was like march but i feel like it's a timeless reading so i don't know 
um I, I think spirit just wanted me to like say at the end of the month now so that's what the title is going to be and if you chose pile number one that could have been like sometime during march okay so these cards are like not that jumpy oh never mind they just want to like sprout out okay so what messages do we have you see what i mean what messages do we have for let me get let me shuffle them one more time I don't like um doing like I don't like bending my cards <laughs> uh so yeah oh there we go see now I feel the energy it was really heavy like I feel like something was really stagnant possibly and my lights are flickering tbh that's kind of like creepy but you know um and then they stopped okay so we have 33 which could mean of great significance to you cosmic sapphire Act with honor and integrity. Spark your truth. Like, I can't say that, like, any more clear, right? And then we have 4 and 13, which could mean of great significance. And then we have, uh, at the bottom of the deck, 29, Mahanana energy. Oh, I hope I'm not butchering that, you guys, honestly. Um, Mahatma? Ma Mahatma energy. Okay. Build your light body. Accelerate your ascension. Ooh, see, I'm telling you, you're getting all these spiritual downloads. Okay. So we have, of course, here unicorn relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. And then, of course, we have creative solutions think outside the box view things from a higher perspective is what i'm getting oh i love this yeah oh this is really great so let's get some advice um well actually hold on hold the phone Pile number two, what I'm getting here, like I said, it's like you're getting downloads, you're creating something, okay? You have that creativity in you and it's kind of like you're that little, like your spirit is kind of like, yeah, like I have it, I popped it open. You know how at the bottom, usually like the little creatures, like the woodland creatures, like they open it from the bottom. You see like the little squirrel and it's kind of like, D -d 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 -d. I feel like you're going in a rapid movement and you don't know where to go sometimes. You're kind of like moving really fast is what I'm getting. Um, but it's kind of like think outside the box like instead of going down here at the bottom you legit opened up the lid okay you're you're thinking outside the box you're being more flexible is what i'm getting yeah you're being more flexible be more flexible at the end of the month so let go now right it could have been something like you're holding on to and you're like oh my god i don't know and then it could have been like also intertwining with your dreams as what i'm getting to so let's get some advice for you out here for the end of the month for my pot number two all right let's get some advice for you yeah so what is the advice for my pile number two for the end of the month? What advice do we have for my pile number two? Ooh, okay, so that flipped out. Ooh, okay, by the way, these are all upright, okay? Um, so we have the five of swords in reverse. Okay, so five of swords and like the swords does represent obviously like uh, intellectual aspect right five does represent instability and expansion at the same time so there's something that you're just kind of like um letting go it's kind of like you had a certain method what you wanted to do oh yeah and this kind of like how do you concentrate a lot you're like hmm like mm, i don't know like it kind of like shook you for a bit is what i'm getting <laughs> pile two and you're just like oh that is not working anymore okay but anyway, so here I'm getting where you are receiving some type of like lingering resentment, okay? Um, you might want a desire to reconcile, right? So it's kind of like um, not essentially uh, having that expansion, but it's kind of like going back is what I'm getting, yeah. 
So what's the advice? So I do feel here where it's kind of like hold yourself back or you may want to work on something that um, is being left behind. You probably could have just like left it on the back burner is what I'm getting. But focus on what your dreams are trying to tell you. I kind of ex like express that enough. Okay. What advice do we have here for my pile number two? That flew out. Yep. The Knight of Swords is giving us here where there's like that impulsiveness, right? Defend your beliefs on what you have. The Knight here is an acting on a type of idea, right? It's kind of like it's not a king yet. Uh, they're not a king yet as of this very moment. You could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because I do have this. Like, act on that idea, like, really impulsively. Or it could be like, you know, really think about it. Yep look at this the magician okay the magician and then empress like you are abundant see how the fertility is right there this is a double confirmation that you are nurturing a type of idea like you have that abundance like you have all the tools that you need is what i'm getting like seriously you have all the tools that you need like i said the confidence is there you know turn that opportunity is there for you to turn it around because it like remember we picked up the energies what this is right here but then it's kind of like the advice is like yeah spirit's telling you you do have the confidence to create what you're supposed to do what you're supposed to create right oh my god i love this for you yeah and i don't think you need any clarifiers number two just because you essentially know i feel like this is just um for you just getting that reassurance right that could be one of your love languages like you you know how to reassure yourself but you want to hear it from like a different perspective is what i'm getting so yeah basically it's just like pay attention right you have all the tools you need like um if you need to let go of, of a, a relationship or you need to let go or maybe like transform yourself or let go of a certain kind of like aspect that you had or something that you felt like was working with you, maybe it may not. Maybe as you transform, as you are like going into ascension, that may not work for you anymore. All right. But you you're great. Like this is good. I can't believe the double confirmation came out for confidence and fertility, bro dead okay so yeah if you made it this far don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next reading bye all right hello pal number three if you chose this beautiful purple like flower then this is for you so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that up there i drew them by the way so this is going to be your reading um for the end of the month uh like i said like i told a previous like one of the piles that I like stated that it was like a certain month but I think that was just like for that specific like month I don't know why but I kept go like referring to it anyway if you feel called to check that out then you should go check it out so we I want to get the energies out here I feel like they're very like how can I say this yeah like they're very like new they're vibrant they're flourishing is what i'm getting 14 26 and 44 could mean of great significance so at the bottom of the deck we have new beginnings let this magic in my spell clear the space in which i dwell so i feel like you are about to transform or you are transforming right um so we have friendship bring to me friendship true sharing laughter understanding too and then we have 26 true love come to me true love shall come to me as i do will so mote it be Ooh, okay so you could start off as friends for this you could be like um calling in your soulmate is what i'm getting and it's like a new relationship right it could be like a new relationship with a friend it could be a new relationship that's like you know from friends and it's going to a lover but something new is happening right i feel like you are letting go of the old for the new so pile number three let's see what messages we have for you um for the end of the month what messages do we have for my pile number three for the end of the month i love this for you like it's very like um you know i had a pink drink earlier from starbies and it was just like 
gave me nostalgia where I was just like utterly happy. This is giving me like very pink bubblegum vibes. I think it's because I'm looking at this one <laughs> on the low key. But like uh, I do really like this for you because it's just like I'm getting excited, right? Look at that <laughs> seven, which is listen to your heart, awaken psychic abilities, tune into the infinite like it's just like there's so many possibilities like you are the unicorn you are the unicorn to your light oh my god again is what i'm getting un uncord relationships like it's time to let go uh forgiveness is freedom is what i'm getting i'm picking up here four could mean of great significance it's like you're coming into harmony i can't believe like well i can't actually okay thank you spirit so 14 and four is could mean a great significance right i'm also getting it's just like heal yourself you know it's also letting go of the old to make room for the new i'm also i'm getting i'm feeling like the wheel of fortune as well as like um the death the death card are like coming in yeah law of grace like you're calling in your soulmate what am i telling like bro come on you know you know this you're just like you know you're being silly about it <laughs> 30 cosmic diamonds spread hope and joy illuminate the world yeah like share the love like spread that love pile number three i feel like you have a lot of love to give and it, it's like you've been holding that back and it's just like when am i gonna get my true love when am when am i gonna have like a real friend when am i gonna do you know instead it's like um already putting yourself as in like i have that love i already you know what if i actually have the love of my life what if you know you know just to let you know the best thing that has ever happened to you is you you're the best thing that has ever happened in your life like not being a sibling not being um uh, a child to your parents like not being their kid like not being a parent a sibling a friend a leader a teacher it's you you not being a spouse a girlfriend a boyfriend you know um so yeah the freedom of truth their 12 could mean of great significance communicate honestly be who you truly are that's why it's like spreading the love i feel like honestly the world needs your love and you know you're going to be doing that at the end of the month like you're actually going to be sharing the like the love to the world like there's i feel like you were brought here to in order to yeah the burdens it's think clarity like have that clarity right you were here as in like a lot of you could be like nurturers okay or i feel like i'm getting like just healing you're just brought here just to just to bring just to heal because you listen to your heart because you have such a big heart is what i'm getting yeah yeah okay so what is the advice for my pile number three for the end of the month what is the advice for my pile number three let's go ahead and shuffle these are so pretty like let me tell you i love these i love these so much like i'm in love with them <laughs> and these are kind of new if you want to know which uh decks this is i just got new decks so it's just like the unicorn one and then this one if you uh want to see what they are then go ahead and check out my tiktok down below so yeah whoa that's too much spirit like i'm not gonna get a fat stack <laughs> that's that's a lot what advice do we have for my pile i saw that heartbreak what advice do we have for my pile number three at the end of the month what advice do we have for my pile number three? Ooh, one card wanted to pop out seven of pentacles yeah keep growing keep growing keep growing keep going is what i'm getting like yeah you, you look at how far you've gotten look at how far you've gone do you think that's you're gonna stop right now no keep going spirit wants you to keep going oh my goodness yes okay do you see do you see how that flew out you guys so we have the three of wands so here the wands here it represents taking action right it's a spiritual aspect of self i also do see here at the bottom of the deck hangman there's something in suspension but i feel like you're going to um like spirit wants you to go towards that direction set intention that is your initial intention intention towards your achievement is what i'm getting what advice do we have here for my pile number three what advice do we have here for my pile number three? Oh my god you guys the wheel of fortune didn't i tell you rebirth rebirth transformation rebirth transformation but we see the wheel of fortune it's falling in your favor okay it's just like 
there's the the cycle is turning right and it's just like the uh, letting you know it's like yep so it's just kind of like you're caught in between two at the bottom of the deck here you know um the pentacles is essentially you know using your common sense so should i balance it's like a choice that you made you know it's it could be like a choice that you're making between friendship friends or a lover a new lover like do you want to stay as friends or do you want to go you know make them a lover <laughs> what's that like tiktok song that i hear it's just like uh um I want to like ruin my friendship we should be like lovers instead that's what i'm hearing in my head right now oh my god i'm so addicted to tiktok you guys you have no idea <laughs> anyway um so yeah uh like it's just the how can i say this it's luck is on your side it's karma you know it, it's like boomeranging out like by you giving the love out it'll come back to you like tenfold is what i'm getting so it's just like whatever choice you have to make is just like yeah, yeah it's like you're down like you're down for like another kind of like yeah i can take on this challenge like i can take this on like it shouldn't have to be very difficult for you i feel like um you're also learning how to make things like come easily to you master manifesting wow this is really cool i love this for you you're so vibrant pile three that it's just like you're um i also do think that it's like a, you're in the lgbtq community is what i'm getting here that may not resonate you know if it doesn't resonate then you know take it let it fly but i also do feel, feel here it's like the same sex like same sex love is love is what i'm getting love is a love so yeah if you made it this far don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next reading all right check out my tiktok bye oh my gosh okay i had to all day you guys not lying i honestly had to really like take a step back because i was like slurring my words all day today i don't know why maybe you could be doing that too all right, so for my wild cards, if you chose pile number four, then this is your reading, okay? Um, so we are going to tap into like um, the end of March or sorry, at the end of the month is what I'm getting, all right? So let's get the current energy for the end of the month. Let's see what the energy is for the end of the month here for my pile number four wild card, okay? Where are the wild things are? So let's see. What is the energy for my pile number four for the end of the month? Thank you, Spirit. So you're healing, harvesting, and you're creating fertility. At the bottom of the deck is inspiration. 19 could mean of great significance. So Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So some of you could be um using some of those like ancient like egyptian like uh like spells is what i'm getting here okay so let's see so 29 could mean of great significance here i do have healing candle flame burn this hour bring to me your healing power okay and then the next one here we have 43 which could mean of great significance to you the number harvest as the wave of the ocean are infinite as the trees in the forest grow tall let my work now bring me to harvest i am ready to receive all so i feel like you have cleared something out in order for something new to come in is what i'm getting or you will be 37 could mean of great significance obviously it could right fertility let all take root seed and sprout let new life be all about okay um so what i'm getting here pile number four is that you are essentially creating something new you're letting uh, a new something new coming come into your life in at the end of the month okay so let's see what else we have for you pile number four if you want to check if you want to see what these cards are i do have the description in my tiktok okay if you want to check those out mm -hmm. i do have the link as well too in my tiktok so check out that video if you can okay so uh let's see what else do we have for my pile number four yeah so 38 Ooh, that one just was flying i feel like you know it flew away very vibrant i feel like your chakras are aligned or you you 
like have aligned yourself 38 and 30 could mean of great significance could mean like something to you okay what messages do we have Ooh, okay so we're getting a lot <laughs> uh this is why you're my wild card you know <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what's coming out so we have 25 21 so we have focus your light listen for a message right listen to your gut like trust your instinct okay and then we also have cosmic diamond um cosmic diamond right it's spread hope and joy illuminate the world oh my god that dog poor dog he just needs attention or she whatever it may be anyway so 25 caring community participate and belong enrich your life you're going to be going out more often okay more than usually you could go out more than usual you could be somebody who goes out but it's just kind of like you're going to be going within like your city or your town wherever you live and you're going to be like I feel you're honestly going to be like looking at something from a different perspective, like what you didn't see before. It's kind of like hidden in plain sight is what I'm getting. Magical crystal cave. Oh my God. My lights are flickering right now. Okay. I don't know. I don't like that. Anyway, switch on your inner light. Bring forward your gifts is what I'm getting out here. So with that, the bottom of the deck, we have six, right? Enter the magic, live in the now, seize the moment. Enter, seize the moment, seize the moment, right? This is for you. Like this is happening for you, not to you is what I am essentially getting from this, okay? This is really beautiful. You're going to be going out a lot and I, you find the key. You're the key to your answers. You're the key to your answers is also what I'm getting. So let's get some advice out here here for you my pile number four and i honestly because you're my wild card i'm gonna pull like a little bit more advice right don't tell the other piles <laughs> don't tell the other piles what i'm doing okay <laughs> just don't oh yeah so i'm listening to the song it's just like uh what's that one song <sighs> when i was like a little when i was a kid like uh that like the the disney show like hannah something hannah montana hannah montana and it's like when she was kind of like oh, i don't know how to say it but it's like one of those songs and i'm listening to it in it and i really love it so like just like going out into the city letting your hair down and you throw your hands up and and then like something the britney song was on and the britney song was on so then you throw your hands up <laughs> That's what I'm listening to right now. And that's what it gave me, like, the community. I was taking that out. Like, this song came in. So what advice do we have for my lovely wild card? My lovely, lovely four. My pile number four. Yeah, so we have four of pentacles, okay? Pentacles does represent using common sense. But this is also a stagnation that you have towards your money, okay? It's kind of like you want to kind of um, uh, save a little bit more is what I'm getting or you will be. That's the advice. Like um, hold on to a, a certain like bank, like not holding on, but it's kind of like pay attention to your finances a little bit more or maybe like hold back to how you usually splurge. Like, you can st still totally do it is what I'm getting but i feel like at the end of the month you're kind of going to be like mm, maybe i should like lean a little on like not going like that's why i feel like because you traveled so much you traveled far now it's like you're doing it like within the city skirts okay within this like the city limits is what i'm getting or within your town whatever it may be right what advice do we have out here for my pile number four for the end of the month what advice do we have out here for my pile number four Ooh, a lot. Uh, should I take these? So it's like thinking of your past, of course, six of cups. And then we have the, the eight of cups. All right. You're letting something go. That's probably why that healing is coming in. Right. Continue on that journey. Right. Have that type of clarity is what I'm getting here. The king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So what I'm getting here for your advice is, you know, share the vibrant uh, emotion that you've had for yourself. Share it with somebody. It could be that you're emotionally like walking away and it's just like go ahead and walk away, right? The Eight of Cups, it, it does represent here where we have a 
type of recognition so you're moving away right you're listening to your gut cups does represent listening to your gut right um so i do see here it's like the emotional aspect you're moving away from something and i just keep hearing moving away moving away uh so some of you could be moving too but you could be going back to like you know uh some of you could be in like um, the teaching kind of field is what I'm getting and give more love to that you're teaching kids you're teaching little ones or you're teaching some type of teaching right that you're passing down the knowledge right knowledge is power but here we have the death card here as well is like let something go let something like just completely like go is what I'm getting yeah live in the moment live in the now this is your inspiration also it's like scorpionic energy but the night like the king of swords is like developing an idea right taking taking um taking that at wow and then you have the ten of pentacles this is so cool um but what i'm seeing here is we it's just like it's going to bring you that stability that you've been looking for okay you're just you're not that far away is what i'm getting I also do see here where you are developing an idea, right? And you're making a plan is what I'm getting. Make that plan. Continue. Continue on. Keep harvesting, right? Don't stop. But yeah, this is what I have for you, pal number four. I hope you made it this far, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.